Hey guys, this is Rusty and today I'm gonna show you how to build this awesome shop design where you can easily change the amount of items the player needs to pay and also the amount of items he then receives. So like in this example I have it set up that when the player puts in 3 diamonds he gets 7 emeralds in return. And you can see that I can throw the diamonds in all at once and get my 7 emeralds. Or even one by one and it won't do anything until I throw in the last diamond. Or I can even throw in like 9 diamonds and the system is smart and can multiply and will give me 21 emeralds in return. And I can at any time quite easily change the ratio of the items by just changing the number of items in this dropper. And this dropper. So now it's 4 diamonds for 9 emeralds. And as you can see, the system already works. The only limitation it sadly has is that the items given out have to be at least 4 or more. And here you can see the machine in action, with the game being slowed down to 50% of its normal speed. You can see that the redstone lamp turns off when the shop has run out of stock. Now let's get to the tutorial itself. Start off by digging a 10 by 3 hole that is 5 blocks deep in total. In the front corner, place two hoppers going back. Then under the first one, place a chest and under the second one, place another hopper going to the chest. I'll move everything into the air so that you can see what I'm doing much better. Go back to the second top hopper and from it go with a comparator into two redstone dust going down, then down a repeater, going into a block with a redstone torch on its side, locking the hopper going to the chest. And this is our item filter for the thrown in items done. Now go back to the second redstone dust and from it read with a repeater going into two redstone dust, then the new target block next to the second redstone dust with a piston next to it so that you can push it and two droppers facing into each other behind that. Place two comparators going from the droppers into two blocks with redstone torches in front and under those torches three redstone dust going into a target block. From the first two redstone dusts go out with a comparator and a repeater. In front of the comparator place a sticky piston with a block. Behind the piston two redstone dust going up and into a target block that is under the other piston. And as the counter for the thrown in items finished. For the next part place two droppers facing into each other on top of the back target block. From the top one read with a comparator through a block. Going into another block with redstone dust on top. Powering a block next to it. From which goes a repeater into a comparator set on subtract mode. Going into another block and three redstone dust on top to complete the clock that will throw out the items. Don't forget to cut the dust so that it doesn't connect to the item filter. The last dust has to be on a slab. Then from the third redstone dust read with an observer facing up, then another one facing to the side, then another one going up and then one going to the front into a block that has a dropper next to it. And now for the counter of the given items we pretty much repeat the counter design from down below. So we go with three redstone dust going over the first observer, a sticky piston with a target block and two droppers facing into each other behind that. Then again read from the droppers with comparators going into blocks with torches on their sides. Under those four redstone dust with the last two ones being on top slabs and going over the other dropper. Then from the first two ones go out with a comparator and a repeater running into a piston with a block 
behind which place two redstone dust going into a target block under the other piston. Note that all these pistons are sticky ones. And that's this part finished. Now for the stock indicator. Place a redstone lamp under the output dropper. Next to that a target block with a comparator on top reading from the dropper going into a block that has a redstone dust placed on a top slab under it. You can also add this optional hopper lock which will prevent the players from trying to buy when there is no stock left. This is just a target block with a redstone torch on its side going down into a redstone dust, a repeater going into a block, into another repeater and into another block. Normally you would have to build these designs one block apart from each other, but if you want to build this hopper lock you can squeeze it in the gap without the machines interfering with each other. And finally to configure the shop for the right items and ratio, go to the second hopper and in the first slot place the item you want the player to pay with and fill the rest of the slots with any stackable renamed item, with one of the slots having 18 items in total. I would recommend you to rename the item to something completely random. Next go to the bottom pair of droppers and into the one that has a target block next to it. Put however many items you want the player to pay. So in my case if I want the ratio 3 to 7, so 3 diamonds for 7 emeralds, I'll put 3 items into this dropper. Then go up to the other pair of droppers and in the one with the target block next to it, put the amount of items given minus 3. So in my case I will put in 7 minus 3, so 4 items and put just one extra item into the other dropper. After that, go to the back two droppers and in the bottom one put as many items as you can. One stack should be enough, but you can put in more to make sure no one gets scammed. And finally, fill in the output hopper with the items you want to give out. If 9 slots isn't enough, you can obviously always add some more storage with like a hopper and a chest on top. And after you've put some items into the dropper, you should see the light below turn on, showing that there is stuff to be sold. And now your shop should be functional, so let's test it. Let's grab some diamonds and if I throw in three, I get seven emeralds in return, nice. And if I throw in six, I get 14 emeralds in return, so I have 21 in total. If you are encountering any problems with the hopper part not working, you can always put in 18 of the payment item instead of the renamed one in the hopper, or even completely replace the renamed items with the payment ones. Or when you're playing on a server that automatically locks containers when you place them, make sure that you correctly set up the dropper pairs using the command C hopper on and then clicking on each of the droppers. This applies to this pair of droppers, this pair of droppers and also this one. If you're having any other kind of problem, I sadly cannot help you. You can try to fiddle with the design yourself, but a lot of servers change the redstone behavior in order to make sure the game is not as laggy. And that's everything I've got for you for this video. I really hope you liked it and found it helpful. If you did, definitely leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And see you next time.